D-Tron did this. I like that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Detron Does It. Of course, I am Detron, and I does stuff. And this week, of course, we're still working on the bus. Yesterday, I got a chance to put down some of the subflooring, but I couldn't finish the subfloor because I still have the floor heater unit installed in the shuttle. And so today, we're going to remove that floor heater unit and lay the rest of the subfloor. That way, we can begin building the actual floor. Uh, and then I think once the floor is done, the wall should be pretty easy to go up. Side note, it's like 108 degrees here in South Texas. I don't know if you can see the sweat bead that just dripped down my face. This is definitely a labor of love. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I take this floor unit out and what I do to cap the ends underneath the bus. In case you're having the same issue, I'll show you exactly how I work it out. All right, let's get up under this bus. So before I go underneath the bus, I just wanted to show you guys the heater unit one more time. This is that guy. So those two hoses go underneath and they have regular coolant going into them, so not Freon. So it's gonna be pretty easy. When coolant flows through, it'll just come into one hose and then go back out the other. So let's uh, let's go underneath now. All right, so you can see those two hoses are the ones going up into the bus, the ones I just showed you. And so they come down here. They follow all the way down to they get to a valve shutoff here. Just after this valve shutoff, we'll unscrew this clamp. We'll remove this hose. We'll let uh, the antifreeze drip out into our drip pan here. And then we'll replace that hose with the new heater hose that we went and got from AutoZone and create a return system. And uh, we should be good to go. All right, guys, so mission accomplished. We got the floor heater out, and now it's time to lay down the rest of the subfloor, and then we can start building our floor in our next episode. All right, let's go.
gotta watch my head there. All right, so I got the framing for the floor cut to size. So now I'm gonna attempt to line it up and then see how I cut grooves for these metal tracks using my new tool. As you guys are probably familiar already, I'm a big fan of Craftsman, so I picked up this new oscillating multi-tool. I'm gonna to try to use it to notch out sections of the wood so that it lays over top of the metal strip that's running on both sides uh, flush. I don't want it to be sticking up because then it's gonna make my floor sit up in certain areas, so if I notch out those sections, um, the floor should all be even. So that's what we're shooting for. I've never used this tool before though, so we're gonna figure out how it works. So that's what we were shooting for, is for it to be able to go over top. And then this thing can sit flush on the ground, which is awesome. Instead of it sitting, you know, up like this, we'll be able to get it right down over top of it, make it flush. Yeah, buddy. Now I just got to do like eight more of those.